Yeah, it's Allie has had uh, fever, uh, fatigue, sore throat, headache since yesterday. Her fever got up to 102. So we are going to get uh, another COVID test and check for the strep and the flu. Today I'm dropping off Isaac and Lincoln with their dads for the week. Y'all ready to go to your dad's? Yeah. Kinda. I still want to see you. <laughs> Thank and, you. And your family. Well, I love you, and um, I'm sure your dads are so excited to see you. Lincoln. We're here. We made it. Bye, I love you. I love you so much. I'm going to say bye, bye to the camera. Bye. Bye, Isaac. <laughs> Love you. Love you. All right, Isaac, we're here. Uh, are you missing something? Love you. I've been getting further along in my pregnancy, and my doctor has been pushing hard for me to get induced. But with everything going on, I'm thinking about going a more non-traditional route. Who's in here? A baby. I've decided to do a home birth. My body's done this three other times naturally, and I have not ever had an issue um, at birth or during labor. So I kind of just want to let my body do its thing. Um, and honestly, with all the stuff going on, I don't even know what a birth like that would look like in the hospital. So I don't know, I feel pretty good about the decision. If the midwife says otherwise, and I'm not able to go that route, I guess we'll see what she says. Um, but that's the plan for now. I had an appointment with my midwife today to tell her about my plan, but I got some news I wasn't expecting. Okay, so I'm just leaving my ultrasound and baby is in fact breech. In the state of Delaware, I legally cannot have a home birth with a midwife if the baby is breech. So this could kind of throw a wrench in the plans. Um, I guess I'm just hoping that by the next visit that he'll turn. Um, but obviously, the bigger I get, the less room he has to flip. So we're just gonna hope for the best. I really wanna find a career I'm passionate about and follow it. But first, we need to figure out what's best for our family and if we should send Nova to school during the pandemic. <laughs> It's just crazy how this is her first year of kindergarten, so her first year of like full on five days a week in school. I know. On a bus. Yeah. And it's all through this COVID crap. Sad. She's just going stir crazy. She begs me all the time. Mom, when can I go to school? Kids need to be in that some kind of like, some kind of routine. It keeps them grounded. And listen, I'll be honest with you. I am not a good teacher. I can't teach the kid. And it'd be hard too, like how am I gonna pursue any of my dreams? And it'll be so hard teaching her at home, like. I agree, I. The only thing I'm worried about is if she gets it from going to school, you know? And comfortable with whatever you're comfortable with. I don't know either, honey. I'm having this baby in three weeks. So today we're having a maternity photo shoot in the yard. Me and Austin are having a boy, and we've decided to name him Bodie Oliver Brown. Today we have a photo shoot for Kelly and Austin, but what they don't know is that we're also having a parade slash baby shower since their baby shower got canceled. Put your hands, like, sit with her hands right here on her your belly. When I saw a bunch of people show up, it was just an overwhelming feeling of love. Happy baby shower! Come, Winnie. You all me. That's mine. 
I'm really happy because I didn't think I would get a baby shower, so I didn't think I'd get some of the stuff I need. This is so cute. I'm really disappointed in how Nate acted, and now things are weird between us. But I'm not gonna let him ruin my big day. Because of a surge in cases, we're having a drive through graduation. When I think of graduation, I think about walking the stage and having an actual ceremony. So this is a lot different than what I thought it would be. My mom is taking me along with my sisters and grandma. This is something different. Yeah. This is my first time a drive through graduation. Most definitely different. I'm kind of happy that she's taking me so she could be a part of that experience as well. How do you feel about me graduating? This is the microphone you got to talk into it. I'm most definitely proud of you because you broke the cycle. What cycle? Before you had a baby, you graduated high school. You could have quit at any point in time and just gave up. And you didn't. You toughed it out. You stuffed them. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Last name? Harris. First name? Cash. Only the graduate could get out the car, but y'all could scream out the window. You look like you're fat. I'm not finna cry. I look fat. You're not fat. You're just pregnant. It's a baby inside of you. Facts. Another human being. It's been a few days and we're waiting to hear about Cole's test results. Hey, honey. Yeah? I got a call from the doctor. Yeah? And? And you have it, that's why you're I got a negative test and I do not have COVID. That's good. That's now good. I can do this and not be afraid. You have That's good news, huh? That's great news. <laughs> I am extremely relieved that I uh, tested negative for COVID. While I was waiting for my results, I was actually getting a little nervous. Um, so I uh, just kind of tried to distance myself and, you know, make sure I was being as safe as possible for my family. And I was just nervous for my family, you know, and my wife who is pregnant and especially our kids, I, it's, it's extremely terrifying. You can feel her moving though, right? No, I told you no. When was the last time you felt her moving? Last I don't know, night. I can't, I don't know, it's not my fault. I felt it last night. Okay, well that's kind of important. Cam, if they won't let me go in the hospital with you guys, make sure that you let me know, because I'm, be a nervous okay. wreck. What's going on? I want to know step by step. Come on, people, let's go. Why don't you just skirt skirt around? Them? We're having a baby. There's the hospital. Is this off? Are you being induced or are you in active no, labor she, right now? Her water broke. Oh, yeah. Well, let's get you a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know then. Uh, I want to ask you a question. Like, okay. I'm a nervous wreck right now. I mean, she's 16. What if something medically needs to be discussed? I mean, I'm sure everything's going to go fine, but I'm just... Well, well, then you can come in with her, but then he can't. So, oh, I yeah, mean, unfortunately... There. Right. You're good. Just All take right. a breath. Take a breath, and I'll text you as soon as we find something. Wow. How are you feeling? On my throat. So you have a little hot fever, let me check you. Here. Yeah, it's Allie has had uh, fever, uh, fatigue, sore throat, headache since yesterday. Her fever got up to 102. So we are going to get uh, another COVID test and check for the strep and the flu.
Hello. Hey. Hey. Uh, yeah, we just got Allie's test results back. Um, she's negative for the COVID and negative for flu. She's positive for strep again. Again? Yeah. I mean, and we've been extremely careful from the very beginning of this pandemic. We already enrolled Addie and Aaliyah into in-person school for the semester, and we can't change that until January. We're halfway through the semester already now, too. Yeah. I feel like we need to really take a step back and kind of look at this as an eye-opener because this is how easy it is for them to pick up any kind of virus or illness. Do you really think we should continue with extra activities? Yeah, I don't think it's, I mean, a really good idea right now. Aaliyah will have to just step out of this season for cheer. Yeah. And I know it's going to be hard for her to understand. Going to school and seeing her friends might, you know, help ease through it, I think. Well, I think, I think, that, I think we're doing the right thing, um, even though sometimes the right thing isn't always the easy thing. But yeah. I'll talk to you another time. Okay. All right. All right, bye. I never would have anticipated having to hold back Addie and Aaliyah to keep Allie safe. But when one of our family members are at high risk, it affects us all. You know, we think it's better to be safe than sorry. So it is extremely important for me to make sure that Addie and Aaliyah don't become resentful of their sister. And it's also really important to me that Allie doesn't feel guilty. So there's a lot to, to kind of navigate and, and balance here. Sucks. The twins come home later today. So while I'm alone with Addie, I'm gonna break the news about withdrawing her from dance class. Hi. Can I sit up here with you? What? Ooh, this bed's comfy. Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, you can talk to me with anything. Do you understand Allie Girl has muscular dystrophy, right? You know, the new virus that's out, COVID-19. If she would get it, it could potentially be life-threatening for her. I think the safest route is to pull out of our activities, our extra activities. How what did this do? start out? Did they say to stop? Um, I made the decision to pull from activities because Allie has already had strep twice. But what am I going back? When, hopefully when the virus is better contained. I was just now getting to make friends. What's most important here is to keep our family safe. You know that it's not Allie's fault and that she can't help it. You don't know when I grow up, I want to be a scientist so I can like find a cure for everyone that has a disability. That is incredible. You keep that dream. I believe you.